beautiful people welcome once again to HN Clothings ah, I've missed saying that so so much how are you all doing uh, yeah before I get carried away in today's video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful dress here okay so I have the materials we're going to be using for this dress okay and I'm sure you're going to be seeing you're going to be seeing how to part the dress how to do the like skin tone mesh lining and all of that in this video how to embellish and all of that okay so if this is something you're gonna be interested in please to keep on watching also guys thank you so much thank you thank you thank you yeah you guys are amazing okay and let us get right into this video all right for this tutorial I have my um, front and back dartless bodies there's no dart on this I'm going to be using it for the mesh to cut out the mesh material and um, I got to the market I got this skin tone mesh but it's it's not really like my shade or my color we'll just work with what we have okay so we'll work with what we have and this mesh um, stretches this way and really doesn't stretch this other way so we're going to be placing the pattern across like this so that it will take care of the stretch this way and this mesh is kind of like thick so i'm sure it's not going to just be ripping off so we won't double it to just use a single layer for the front and the back all right so first things first this is just to like my blouse length i'm going to be extending it to my gown on my dress length where i want the dress to get to so my dress will be getting to like about 35 inches okay so figure out again this is where it draws and this is it so you can see this is the salvage end here this place that is neatly finished this one is a crosswise grain so we're placing it across the crosswise grain this is the salvage end too Okay, so you'll be doing it, you'll be putting salvage end to salvage end together and placing your pattern on it. So salvage to salvage and you place your pattern. Now for this you don't really need to even put any seam allowance at all because it's stretching so I'll measure my 35 inches from this point straight down. We'll get here. So I'll just rule a line on that mark to signify my 35 inch mark from here as well. Okay. So next I'll put my front bodies on this okay so as simple as that i'll just put my front bodies it doesn't have any that and i'll just cut it out you can pencil out this bottom part pencil it out i'll let it be straight that's going like by one inch your back you place your back like so and yeah oh this this part should be on the fold just put it on the fold that way because this is mesh, so there's no need to start opening it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, there'll be excess there, but we can always work with that. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, so we have this now as well. Okay. We have our two mesh pieces. So I'm going to open it up now. Like so. I'll open it up. So I'm going to open it up like so. I'll take the front as well, place it on the back along the shoulder and along the side seams and sew it. So this neck, try as much as possible to give it a neat cutting. Oh guys, you know that I forgot that there was already a zip allowance of one inch at that back of which I did not um, take care of. Please, let's recut that part again. Because there was an inch, uh, one inch sewing zip allowance that I did not fold in. My basic bodice comes with the one inch zip allowance. You see, when I now placed it together with it, I found out that I did not take care of that already. So, I'm going to be folding that part. allowance in try to make it as um, even as possible okay so this part will be the part over here so you see all the extra that we'll need to take out see all the extra we'll need to take out so please make sure you remember that Okay, so we are taking care of the excess now. It's going to fit like a glove. Okay, I'll just open up that back. I know the back from the front because of the neckline, and I'll place the front on the back. Great. And now it's matching up neatly. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine and sew that place closed. I also sewed the side seams up. Okay, and we need to cut the sleeve. Yes, yeah, so everything is matching up nicely. You can see that just sew that close, sew it neatly, sew up the side seams to work with it so that it doesn't keep moving. I'll just use this. I'll just put dots, 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 dots there so that they just match up and to be easy to sew. So once I take some machine, I'll just sew that place close and chop off the extra there. Let's put the dots on the sides too. I do not have a wonder tape. If you have all those um, double-sided tapes, that they call it wonder tape or so or a double-sided tape you can just put it in between those two things and um, pull it out once you're done but i'll use this temporarily okay so you can see now that it's not moving anyhow anymore i can also just use the opportunity to trim off the parts that are not looking so um, aligned. Okay, so I have a perfect, a nice um, bodice now. You don't need to do anything to the neck and the hem just trim it neatly so that when you wear it is going to be good so we are good i'm going to keep this and we'll work on the sleeve quickly fun fact guys fun fact do you know that this is my sleeve pattern that i always use 
is six years old. Do you know that? <laughs> I've been using this since I was in fashion school. First sleep pattern I made. So, you see why patterns, to learn pattern is so sweet. So, so sweet. Five years. And now I, I couldn't um, quickly replicate another one. So, I'm bringing in my five year old pattern. <laughs> For us to cut our sleeve. Okay. Okay, so we use the same hack of um, closing it up. So we have this and this ready to go. Now the one we're gonna be working on next is actually the, um, what the inside lining. So more like the skin tone kind of um, inside fabric, okay? On the front, the inner part showing the boobs, that means it's really coming down um, below the bust line. It's getting to like this true bust line here that inner part okay that is revealing so much it's getting to that line and it's like um, a bust still coming from the armhole okay that one is coming from the armhole so we can let it come from here up there then this one goes down here okay so let's use a cuff So we'll also try to increase this um, um, that here. I'll go in by one inch here because this is actually a very stretchy fabric and half inch. I can even do one and a half here because the fabric stretches. That's why I'm going all in. And from there, I'll draw my line to this point. This line should come down to your bust line. It should come down here. So yeah, I actually drawing this line to this point, sorry. I hope you understand what I just did. And this one to this point. Okay, now with this one, I can go ahead to curve this part, the bulbs. Okay, and going by half inch here, or one inch, because it actually is very stretchy. You draw your line. while the other one is fine so while for the back just put this um, this paper this part where it's mat matching up so it's from here and it's just a strip line so we can now cut them out the neck for the front from here Put them together and see that the lines match up first. Okay, so trim if it's not matching up. So this part will be put together with this part for the front lining. So you cut it this way. This one will be on the fold. Uh huh. On the fold. Let me label them. So we have cut two. This one is on fold. This one is on fold. So you'll be joining it by the waistline. Okay, on the stretchy fabric. Don't put any seam allowance because that fabric stretches. You even need to sew in much more than the seam allowance. I'll be sewing in close to like one and a half inch because that fabric is a really stretchy one. Then on this part, instead of me to cut this part out, since it's a stretchy fabric, I'll just come to the side seams and take um, take off that excess. I don't even want any. Um, I don't want any that. First of all, I don't want that zipper, so I'm taking it all out. 
So it's like I'm taking the zipper. Now this that let's first sew it then if we need to hold it more i'll hold it more let me just take a little from here for the darts so i'm cutting this much because that fabric stretches i'm sure you saw the fabric and this is the back that will be going into that place okay oh we still have a zipper for the back so i'm just going to cut off all that zipper part for the back we don't need any zipper for the back Okay, so let's place it now and cut it out. So I'll sew up all the lining, sew up this one too as well, and I'll show you how we're going to start embellishing them, okay? Alright guys, so I have finished sewing the one that will be going inside the mesh and you can see our cups but we can't just leave it that way, we need to put bra up there so that it's going to stand well because this fabric is really soft and I use a zigzag stitch to um, not to allow um, cutting and this is my mesh here so I held a bust that here so that it's going to um, relax well so that bust that day i'll put um i'm going to embellish it there so it's going to be covered up anyway and i put my sleeves and this is what it is for the down so i held it more in so that it's more pencil and fit into the body okay so since this one is ready i'll keep this and we'll quickly insert our cup in this um fabric so here are my cups i have these two cups and but this part will be the one that will be going to the bottom so i'm going to tilt it this way i'm going to be putting the cups this way okay instead of it to be like this i'm going to tilt it this way so that these corners are matching up like this okay so i'll take the first one and put it inside here into the shape of the I'm going to move it away from that, um, from the edge of this place, and I'm going to pin it down. So you can actually take it to your machine and sew it along that seam. But if you don't want that, you can just hand tack it in place. So I'll just pin it here. Okay, so you can fit it on your mannequin before you completely, completely sew it. So stretch it so that the cup is, is sitting well. Okay. And now, so that, that will be for the first one. For the second one, take it to and tilt it that way. Just stretch it out, stretch, stretch, stretch. 
that it cover well so this is what it's going to be looking like inside like this too um these things meet here okay so you can see now that it's going to be sitting well that way let's see how the inside is yeah so you see that the inside too is looking pretty so you can hand tack it down or sew it along the stitch line so that it's in place or you just hand tack it down okay so i'll just quickly hand tack it down try as much as possible not to make the stitches show all right guys so you can see the cups beautiful and once you wear it it's going to stand i just hand tapped it in place there okay but you can go ahead to sew it in the line if you want to so this is what it is i will not be attaching this to the main mesh i'll wear i'll wear it separately or it will be one separately but if you want to go ahead to attach it to the main mesh then you put it inside and just um um hold it down at this um, armhole here hold it down at here but I, I believe that it's better wearing it separately okay so imagine if this mesh was the same color with this or the perfect skin tone so i guess it's the perfect skin tone i just went for this one since there are still shades of nude now the next thing to do is to prepare the embellishment before we start embellishing it so i have this lace fabric this is what i'll be using to embellish the clothes i'll be cutting out these lace motifs here to this kind of shape i do not have a soldering iron if you had a soldering iron that would be nice to use so i have this let me just bring them all out All right, guys. So this is the inner um, inner piece that will be on the mesh. So I have to put this first, then wear the mesh on it, so that we can now embellish it and wrap this thing up. Okay, so this one will be going to the bottom of it so when i remove it that's when we'll put this one i had to put the others now it's a strategic one you have to be placing it so i'll place it here to cover up this um that under my pins
All right, so we've pinned everything down on the mannequin, so I've removed it. Now, I'm gonna be using Uhu glue. Uhu glue will stick better. After you use Uhu glue, please go over it with your needle and thread. So let the color of the thread be in the color of the um, embellishment or the lace trimming that you are using. Okay, so I will open up this paper and put it just in between so that um, the glue will not go and touch where it's not supposed to touch. Okay, so as I'm using the glue, I'll be moving it in place. Okay, so for instance here, I'm going to remove all these things, put the glue Just at how you placed it on the mannequin. So you place it how you want it to be. Okay, so now you can now glue the pieces in place. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. Please try as much as possible to let the glue not um, smear everywhere. So, of course, I'm going to, um, you take it for dry cleaning or something. Like, see the newspaper now sticking on there, but that's why you need to hand sew it in place. See all these small, small ones? You need to hand sew it in place so that it will be perfect so that when they even wash it the glue won't just come off and see the back as well <laughs> see all the newspapers there you just need to steal and so or you take a thicker a thicker kind of paper to put it there so that it doesn't um, smudge maybe you can use nylon self okay so this is what i have yeah i still had all this extra if i put it here what do you guys think should i still put it here or what we have is enough what do you think what do you think oh, and it's looking pretty yo. oh tell me what you think guys let me know oh, see i'm talking to you i see if you guys can give me the feedback right now I wish you can tell me right now so I know what to do. I'm thinking that if I put it there, it will still be lovely. Okay, so this is the finished of the net, the finished product of the net. And this is what the inner wear will be like. Will cup you well, will pad you well. Go ahead to iron it in place. Yeah, and finish it up all. Um, use a bias to turn that part and we are through guys we are through we are through if you did enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up do you want to see me wear it <laughs> let me know if you want to see me wear it let me know so i know if i'll, <laughs> I'll post it or not all right so 
till we see you in our next tutorial stay safe god bless you bye